Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see in the title, I made a mistake. Um, a decently expensive one, but as you can see in the back, that is a bumper. Uh, let's go take a peek at it. Um, oh yeah, there's also a fender here too, but yeah, that's my bumper and that's my fender and um, that's the legacy right now. So. So, I'm currently trying to fit VG tuning JDM fenders on my car. Um, my dumbass didn't know that they were JDM, and it didn't really say anywhere that they were JDM, nor did he, like, specify that they were. So, um, yeah, I bought, you know, those fenders to replace mine that are, you know, paint chipped and stuff, and they're JDM. So, this video is going to be me trying to fix them, make them fit. Uh, I've got people, some some people doubting that I can do it, but I mean, so far everything's lined up bolt holes wise. It's just like the headlight fitment and then the hood fitment's off. And I think if I bring it to a body shop, they'll get the hood fitment because I am not really the most skilled with it, nor do I have the place to do it. I mean, I got a whole K truck back in here. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'm going to bring y'all out there. Let me throw my non OSHA glasses on but um zoom in so right here if you look at the line you can kind of see where it's not fitting up perfectly it's, it can fit almost my whole finger underneath there so that's one thing I need the body shop to fix I don't have the, sh the stuff for that but um, give me one second I'm gonna have to pop this hood off real quick so the other thing is these holes all the way pressed in don't fit because the JDM headlights really only come to like right here. So I've been shaving this back. I don't know if I can pull this off to show y'all. Give me a second. But I've been gradually shaving it back to try and get it to fit. And yes, this is fiberglass right in here. Resin too. So yeah, it's been a pain. I've been shaving this a little more open to kind of get some more depth on. Um this piece right here but yeah um got fiberglass shards all over my car but yeah that's the, the legacy right now she all stripped and everything We've got new headlights going in custom headlights got them from vivid optics retrospect i think on or retrofit on instagram i love his work i love the dude dude super cool but yeah um i gotta put those in so hopefully after today i'll have <clears throat> Fender's semi-fitting and in, the new headlights wired and in, and then my whole bumper back on so the car's drivable and then I can drop it off to the body shop next week. And yeah, this is what they look like. They got a little vent in the back. Kind of surprised on how well this fitment is. I mean, it's a little thick, but like, still not bad overall for fiberglass work, but yeah. Now for me to continue working on it. So this side looks a little bit uglier up in here. I kind of, you know, just lost patience and didn't take my time. But as far as things that you need to shave, um, you might need to shave these two holes right here a little bit. I widen them. Um, you'll definitely need to shave this piece in right here. This piece a little bit. This whole section, as you can see, it's now just like glass and resin. No gel coat. Um, I shave this a little bit. This whole piece right here is going to need to get a little bit more Bondo to bring it up. So it's even with the hood line as well. Um, and I did shave this bit right here. But overall, it fits decently well. I'll put the light on in a second. So this is what it roughly looks like. Um, you can kind of see right in there a little bit of the flaws. But all these bolts line up roughly. And then this notch, dropping the camera. These all kind of line up a little bit. And yeah. There, uh, that's what it look, roughly looked like. I mean, I got different headlights going in, but these are the OEM ones, so testing on these. Alright, y'all, so I um, kind of did a lot in, since the last time I uh, recorded, so I missed some of the process. Um, since then, we've gotten the fenders on. Um, had to do some shaving. I think I recorded it before, but as you can see kind of in here, shaved it back. It's not a perfect fit, but I'm going to try and get the body shop to kind of help fit it. Up in here, I had to shave a little bit. Same on the other side. Um, they look pretty good. Um, but since then, we got the Vivid Optics Retrofit, um, what's it called? 
headlights in and I'll overlay some of the pictures that I'm about to talk about but the um, head connections we tapped into the mainly the turn signal and stuff to get this halo going since I had a switchback and one sec. So for the 09 Legacy what we did is if you look on the back piece that goes into your turn signal um, let's see, it would go into this piece I don't have it in this one but if you look on here there's yeah there's three lines on the female end there's going to be a side that says one two and three on the actual fob that goes in there one is going to be for your side marker the two which will be the middle one is going to be your ground and then three is for your turn signals we we um connected into all three of them for the halo and i'll post a few pictures of the actual thing i'm talking about too um but for the basic lighting diagram that he gave me was um the white one goes in the power and stuff and the orange is for your switchback and I'll post a picture of that as well but we got it actually working and I'll post a video or I'll put a video at the end of this of it actually going but I went through the basic you know chrome kind of look because I do have different wheels I want to put on this car at some point um, but fenders are still getting paint are gonna get painted and some body work done to them because I didn't have the facilities for it but you know these whole brackets too didn't come with it these you have to install it's as simple as sliding in the headlight and then doing this bolt right here and then on them you have a bolt up in there and then a few bolts underneath so there's gonna be one right here I'll go on the other side starting from the top this one solidifies this headlight in this housing then you come down there's one back in there one down here the middle one these two right in here help attach the headlight housing to the fender. And down under here, you've got one right there. And then on this side, you got to make sure these two line up. You've got a screw and a screw, and then these kind of pop in, and you're all good there. And for the fender, before I say this, because I know I didn't find anything when I was looking, the fender you want to pop the you have to pop the headlights, the bumper and the bottom of your rocker panel right there to access all the bolts and you're going to want to do it with your door open so you can access everything but that's the general look so far and at the end i'm going to post a few pictures of the lights and everything show a few videos of them working so hope y'all enjoyed all right y'all so we finally got everything buttoned up um as you can see it looks kind of bad down there that's because i was doing some body work and sanding that up before paint but um, I'm going to go over my list of complaints real quick before I get into actually showing off the lights. So with these VG tuning JDM uh, uh, fenders, um, the one thing that you can see is this hood fitment to it is really bad. So, well, and the headlight fitment. I mean, you can see that gap. Um, but I'm going to have to get the body shop to fix them. Um, There's just something I couldn't do myself because of lack of space. Um, some of the bumper in some areas isn't really relining up too good like this corner right here I had to shave a little bit and even then it's still not lining up um, But overall it doesn't look too bad. It's the same over here the headlight fitment But overall I like the I like the thing Same thing on this side this profile. I had to shave this a little bit um, But that's the that's the look for now um, I kind of I don't mind them I kind of like it. It looks pretty decent, but yeah, there, there we go. All right, so I've got turn signals and the halos going for hazards. This is the first notch on the turn stalk, the side markers. Halo in side markers looks pretty good. We'll go off to the side. 